For today, I wanted to go over how you can easily attach a source to your family search tree or to your ancestor ancestry tree from any website on the World Wide Web. And it's really, really easy. And they've um, the place that has made this feature has changed it a little bit, so I wanted to show you that too. So on the name of the company that makes this available is Record Seek. And I'm just pointing to this. This is a little bookmarklet that you add to your bookmarks bar. And we're going to show that after, but let me show you how easy this is to attach to Family Search and Ancestry. So this is a headstone for one of my ancestors, Martha Frances Hill Williams. And I don't have this on my Family Search, and I believe I don't have it in my Ancestry either. So let me show you how you do this. What we're going to do is we're just going to click this Record Seek right up here. And then this pulls up this window. And um, before I show you this, I just wanted to mention that Record Seek is now fully functional on mobile. So you can use it on your phone or on your tablet. So you don't, it's not, you don't just have to use it on the computer. So let's go ahead and we want to attach this to Family Search to someone in our tree. So this gives the source and it creates the URL. So you'll be able to click on this and go back when you're in Family Search. It makes the source title where the record is found. And then right here, you can describe anything that you want to describe in these notes. Just click inside it and the cursor comes up and you can delete or add anything that you want. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. Let's just go ahead and click Next. And then this will, um, this what this is asking is it's going to try to find who you want to attach this to in Family Search. So you can actually type in here the name, you know, and all that information, the spouse and everything. But what I like to do is you can also search by person ID number. So what I'm going to do is I've already got her up right here on Family Search. And right up here is her person ID number. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag and click that. I'm going to do Control C to copy. If you're on a Mac, it's Command C. Sometimes you can also do a right click and copy. So just whatever works on what you're used to and whatever works on your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and go back. What happens when you click off of the of that record seek screen is it goes behind. So I'm going to just minimize that. And here is the record seek screen. I'm going to go ahead and paste that in, click the next button. And then here, see how fast that is, comes up with my Martha Francis Hill. And this is the right person. So all I do is select her. And then I can put a reason to attach. I can put like proof of her aerial place or whatever you would like to add. And then I can just create and attach. And it's kind of fun. It gives you something to look at while you're waiting, but it's, it's really quick if family search is going well. And so right here, which is really neat, if, if this was source was had different people on it, you could go ahead and attach it to another person. And But right now, I'm just going to view this on family search so you can see how what that looks like when you attach from Record Seek. It's pretty slick. It works really good. So we'll just wait for a minute and let that come up and it takes a minute sometimes to, to bring the sources up. Let me go ahead and we'll scroll down to sources. Okay, and there it is. Um, Martha Frances Williams, Find a Grave Memorial. And then as you can see on this left-hand side, there's this little globe that tells me that it comes from a web page somewhere on the World Wide Web. The other ones are, um, you know, just a family search little icon. So that's how you can tell which one it is. So anyway, that's awesome. So it's added there. Okay, so I want to go ahead and also add this to my family tree in Ancestry. So I can go ahead and I can just Let's see, we do need to get back to this one. We can go ahead and just click this record seek again. Okay, and it's going to come up again. Now I want to go and add it to Ancestry.com down here on the right. So I just click that. Again, it adds a source title, where the record's found. I click the next button. And this, this allows me to 
select the tree that I want to add it to. If you click this drop down arrow, I don't have very many. One's my husband's, one's the one from Family Search, and then my own. And I'm going to go ahead and just put it on my own tree. And all you have to do on this to select a person, you just begin typing their name. And it was Martha Francis. And when I come to it, I don't have to type the whole thing, and I can go ahead and just select her. So I'm going to select her and press the Save button. So this shows it's successfully saved, which is amazing to me how fast it is. And then I can view her profile on my tree. So this is her profile on my tree. And let me show you where they add the source to. I was hoping that they would add the source here on the timeline. If you haven't been to Ancestry and haven't gotten your free tree, this is the timeline on the left-hand side. And as you go down, this shows right here. This is the one that I just added. Um, it comes up with this little arrow thing. Not sure what that means exactly, but that's the one I added. So that's where it's going to be added is down here to the different sources. And this also shows her other sources. So that's how you add that to Ancestry and where that shows up and how just how isn't amazing how easy that is. It just blows me away sometimes how people can add these different features. So let me show you, I showed you this little bookmarklet here, and let me show you how easy that is to get. What we do is we will actually have it up. You go to recordseek.com, and mostly I just put in recordseek and Google it, and then it comes up here. But the, the way you get this up on your bar is you just drag it up. So I just have dragged it up. You just drag it up there, release it. And there it is. Now I have two, so I can always just right click and delete that if I don't want it up there. So that's how it e easy it is. So anyway, thanks, and let me know if you have questions, and I hope you're having a great day.